Hi, I'm Chris Bird with the Bird's Eye View. I want to go over the fight this past weekend with uh, Sergey Lajovic and Deontay Wilder. Good heavyweight matchup. You got an older uh, former champion versus young stud coming up, trying to get to the title fight. Uh, good matchup of sorts. You know, I'm thinking Lajovic, he, he don't got much left. You know, it seemed like that. And you got this young guy with all these knockouts. What is he going to do? But watching it, starting off, Lyle Hovis think he did have a lot left. He's bringing the pressure, trying to get to him, and, and was kind of getting to him, you know, doing the right things to to try to cut the distance with, with all the height and reach that Deontay Wilder has. But, man, watching Deontay Wilder, 6'7", rangy, athletic, just the, the short amount of time the fight was, watching his legs, getting moving out of, uh, out of the way of like jabs or uncoming, incoming pressure. Very good. Then he reversed it, get Lyle Hovich on the ropes, and hit him with a short shot. That's just power. That's just, that's the kind of power. It, it, another guy like uh, Matisse, scary power. If it lands, he's going to put you to sleep. And it was, it was a... a Kind of hard to see how Lyle Hovich failed. I mean, it was, you know, it was, you think he was hurt. It was almost like, you know, paralyzed, you know, and just got stuck because of the power. So with Deontay Wilder, I mean, it, it's a matchup with all the heavyweights, especially an uh, average size heavyweight, if you, between 6'1 and 6'4, it's, it's a hard matchup. Believe me, when you fight the taller guys, and especially a guy that can punch, now you got to avoid all the power and the range. And he's setting you up with a, with a good jab and following with the right hand. So, you know, he has a lot of upside. And his coach, Mark Breland, similar type guy, tall for the weight class, good right hand, great amateur, two-time champion. And Deontay Wilder is learning with each fight. Each fight is getting better. So that's my take on, on the heavyweight scrap. Uh, Deontay Wilder, and I'll be doing a video on, on the American heavyweights. I did one on the British, and now on the American heavyweights and the up-and-coming guys that are that are in the mix, which is coming back. America, American heavyweights in the boxing is coming back, and more and more are going to pop up. So we'll hopefully you see them in the mix of winning the world title and take over after the Klitschko boys leave. You know, Vitaly will be gone and Vladimir soon. So... You know, America will be back on top with the heavyweights. They're going to be popping up out of everywhere. And uh, that's my take uh, on that fight. Follow me on, on Twitter. Um, I got a podcast. Uh, get it on iTunes and, and uh, subscribe to the channel. And check out CrisBird.com also. CrisBird.com, where there's a, just a lot of things happening. Watch a lot of videos and see what's going on next. Thanks for your time, and I'll see you next time.